I traced to Berto's July the 2nd, 2018, and this tutorial, I'm going to focus on the Monday retracement. Um, and we'll follow up tomorrow in the trade room at 9 a.m. Eastern. So if, uh, if you are available, we're going to just go over the Monday retracement more in detail. But this video is just basic Monday retracement, how to qualify a trade using um, a few indicators. The first one, of course, is the most important, is the price action and advisory indicator. So if you do not uh, have the advisory indicator, I, I would strongly suggest purchasing it on my website. It's um, a very useful tool to determining overbought and oversold conditions. So what I do is looking, I first look at Friday. And Friday's rally on Aussie dollar pretty much um, put in its daily average range. And coming into Monday, Sunday night, I look for candlestick reversal patterns, number one, um, at a sell level on the advisory indicator giving me a sell level. That's two. I'm also looking at a crossover in MACD. This is very important because this MACD indicator when the two lines of MACD cross usually means that markets are going to go in the opposite direction. And finally the advice, the uh, stochastics indicator needs to be overbought. Okay, so these three, four things actually, we have Advisory indicator giving us a sell signal. We have a bearish, notice the bearish engulfing candle right there. That's our price action or candlestick pattern alert. Two lines of MACD cross to the downside and stochastics is overbought. This is pretty much a perfect setup. Okay, now you can use this on any day. Um, I'm just illustrating this on a Monday because usually Mondays do retrace. Okay. So I'm going to show you a few examples of this and if you have any questions you could always email me. And So let's look at another one. Euro Yen. Same thing. Notice advisory indicator giving us a sell signal. Notice that there's also an evening star on the one hour chart. So we have two reasons right here that market most likely will retrace. I normally like to highlight Friday's. Just notice that Friday's rally. The market did not penetrate Friday's high. Give us a nice evening star. Two lines of MACD crossing to the downside during the Asian session as the Cassix is overbought. And I'm still in this trade. The target it was 128.50 and so far there's 57 pips on this trade from the Asian session from last night. Um, a couple more. Pound Yen. It's good to look at several pairs just to give you more confidence when you do trade a Monday retracement. Everything is lining up again. Here's Friday's rally and the advisory indicator giving us a sell signal during the Asian session inside bar advisory giving us a sell signal the stochastics indicator is overbought and the two lines of MACD are crossing to the downside now MACD is a lagging indicator, so I usually don't rely on it first. I look at price action, I look at stochastics indicator, but when the two lines of MACD cross to the downside, that's more confirmation that this trade most likely is going to work out. And this trade was taken at the top so far as 72 pips to the bottom. Um, Euro dollar, same thing. Again, look at Friday's rally. Got a nice evening star. 
a hammer. Let me just make this a little bit bigger. So we rely on the advisory indicator giving us a cell signal. And it did during the Asian session. And then we need a candlestick pattern because without a candlestick pattern, the advisory indicator is pretty much useless. So we have several reasons to take this trade. Friday's rally, this is Monday's retracement. The two lines of MACD cross to the downside. This is a 14 moving average line. This is more of a confirmation. Price breaking below the 14 moving average line. And at the time of entry, Stochastics was overbought. Okay. So that's it for the Monday retracement tutorial. And again, um, join us in the trade room tomorrow, Tuesday at 9 a.m. Eastern for questions and answers on Monday retracements. And again, this strategy can be used on any day. It's just that um, I like using it on Monday because usually Mondays are a retracement day. Okay, have a good trading week, and I'll see everyone in the trade room tomorrow.